Mr. Martins rides his motorcycle to work every day. If he rides at a constant speed, then the more time he rides, the more the distance he covers. So, if in 5 minutes he covers 10 meters, in 10 minutes he will cover 20 meters. In 20 minutes he will cover 40 meters. In 30 minutes he will cover 60 meters. And in 40 minutes he will cover 80 meters. We can show the relationship between the distance covered and the time taken in this table. From the table, you can see that the more time Mr. Martins travels, the more distance he covers. Can you also observe that the time it took Mr. Martins to cover a distance of 20 meters is twice the time it took him to cover 10 meters? Also, the time it took him to cover 80 meters is four times the time it took him to cover 20 meters. From this analysis, we can see that the ratio of any two distances is the same as the ratio of their corresponding times. For example, 10 minutes over 5 minutes is 2, and 20 meters over 10 meters is also 2. Also, 40 minutes over 10 minutes is 4, while 80 meters over 20 meters is also 4. In each example, the ratios are equal. Since the changes in the distance covered and the time taken are the same, we can say that distance is directly proportional to time. Using D to represent distance and T to represent time, we can write the relationship like this using the proportionality symbol. The proportionality symbol can be changed to an equality sign by introducing a constant. Let's call it S. Hence, the relationship becomes this. S is the proportionality constant, which is the speed in this case. We can divide both sides by T to get this. What this means is that we find speed by dividing distance covered by time taken. Let's see another example. If three bottles of juice cost 75 naira and five bottles of the same juice cost 125 naira, what is the cost of 10 bottles of juice? The first thing you will observe is that the cost is directly proportional to the quantity. This is because a higher quantity incurs a higher cost. The first thing we will do is to find the proportionality constant, which in this case is the cost of one bottle. We will get that by dividing cost by quantity. In both instances, we have 25 naira per bottle. So, to get the cost of 10 bottles, we simply multiply 25 by 10 to get 250 naira. That should be enough for now. In this lesson, we have learned that two quantities are directly proportional when they both increase or decrease in the same direction. Join me in another lesson as we see how to solve problems involving direct proportions.